Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Jackson, located in Jackson, Mississippi, on the 14th of May, 1863. Riding a victorious wind, Union General Grant changed his plan of attack. He shifted his entire set of forces towards Jackson, Mississippi, instead of the original target of Edwards and Bolton. Confederate General Johnston, who had just arrived at Jackson, was unaware of his enemy's change in tactics as he took command of his 6,000 defenders at Jackson itself. It wasn't until May 13th that Confederate General Johnston heard of Union General Grant's shift of attack as Grant launched his main weapon, William Tecumseh Sherman, and his 15th Corps, along with Union General McPherson and his 17th Corps at Jackson, their goal was to tear apart the railroads that crisscrossed the area. In desperation, Johnston telegrammed Confederate command to tell them that he was too late to help defend Jackson. His desire to flee contributed Johnston not realizing that Jackson had been fortified and supplied and could easily withstand a Union siege for some time. Instead, Johnston ordered Confederate General Gregg to begin full evacuation of Confederate troops from the city. Unfortunately for Gregg, he was not fast enough and was caught by Union troops on May 14th in the rain. Union General McPherson had decided to probe the Confederates with artillery fire along with a probing force. The probe made contact with the Confederate rear guard in the height of the thunderstorm. Desperate to slow the Union down, Colonel Peyton Colquitt, under the command of W.H.T. Walker, formed a blockade on the road. The wetness bogged everything down. This slowed Sherman's Union troops, giving the Confederates time to retreat back into Jackson to wait out the storm. Panicking, Johnston ordered Gregg to abandon Jackson with full haste and retreat resulting in Confederate forces fleeing a perfectly defendable post and it traveled down to Canton Road. This resulted in the Union troops taking Jackson by 3 p.m. that afternoon. The Union troops began to burn part of the town down while they destroyed the railroad system in and around Jackson. When a surprised Grant got word how quickly Jackson had been taken, he sent out scouts and found that he was lodged himself between Confederate General Pemberton at Vicksburg, his ultimate target, and a retreating Johnston who is even now fleeing down the road towards Grant, not realizing the Union troops were in between him and Vicksburg. Estimated casualties for the Union were low, with only approximately 332 Union casualties. This included approximately 48 killed, 271 wounded, and 13 missing. The Confederacy unfortunately suffered more than that, with 850 killed, wounded, or missing. Unfortunately for the Confederacy, casualty-specific totals were not known. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.